Hi, welcome to QuickPros AI and the getting started video in iOS. I am the lead engineer for iOS, so you're in safe hands. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded um, the sample apps from the GitHub repo, please do that now. Um, I'm going to show you one here. Um, so make sure you're looking at the demo app, not the picker demo. That's a little bit more complicated and we'll address that in a later video. Um, the other major thing to point out is we're going to be running on my Mac designed for iPhone. If you don't see this feature, that means you've probably not got a Silicon Mac, which is the new Macs, and I'll show you what to do if you've got an older Mac. So for now, let's assume you've got a newer Mac, and I just want to run this so you can see how quickly it is to get going. So this is out of the box, just downloaded, it will run straight away. And what we see here is an upper body overlay being rendered over the video. So those white lines are something we're adding in real time. The frames per second will be um, around 30, um, which is the fastest you can get on the simulator at the moment. The key thing to note here is it's running on the simulator. So I'll show you it running on the device. So running next to me is my phone, and I'll hit play on that. And I should get my device up here, here it is. So the one thing to note is um, this is not Jimmy Fallon, so this is me. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna stop that now. The, um, that was, because it was me, you could see it running the quick post camera view, not the simulator camera view. So to run on the iOS, um, run the iOS on Mac mode, um, you have to sort of inject a video. And you can inject videos ev even on the device itself. Um, that's at your discretion, and for testing that's actually quite helpful. So for repeating like fiddly bugs. Um, so I'll talk you through the structure of the view. We've got a Z stack, so this is a camera view stacked below an overlay view. And the camera view is either the video Jimmy Fallon or it's your camera running on your device. And that logic is in here. I, again, you can change that video out here. Um, on top, we see the overlay view. This overlay image is exported from our Quick Pose SDK down here. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is if you change the bundle ID, you'll need to update the SDK key. This SDK key is tied to the demo. Um, the, um, so we have the, the overlay image exported, and that's what you see rendered. So this is updating on every frame. Um, we've got one um, feature here, the upper body, but QuickPose supports lots of features. So we'll put in one of the newer features which is range of motion, shoulder left, false. So this is clockwise. I'll cover why clockwise in a second. So that's running on my device. So you can see my, my left shoulder, so it's the user left, has a overlay over it. And if you're running on the um, you're running on a Mac you can just uh, in Silicon Mac you can just run to the side um, as you can see running things on a Silicon Mac is a, is a big time saver so if you need an excuse to upgrade this is a very reasonable reason to go to your boss and get a new Mac so just saying um, the I'll, I'll, so this is the, the sort of end-to-end -end sort of demo we've got a couple of features running very quickly on a simulator. Um, what you can also do is follow on some more future videos which give you more advanced use cases. This is deliberately meant to be quite specific. More advanced use cases would be exploring more of the features um, and exploring a few UI kit examples. At the moment we're doing Swift UI but mostly because of its, its ease of use for new developers. Um, yeah. So thanks for listening. This has been the introduction to the ISSDK.